everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a review and just maybe a quick what's in my bag on this next star of my collection which is the Chanel Small Vanity Case. If you've never joined me before, my name is Jennifer. I'd love it if you subscribe. Always hit the little notification bell down there so you know when I've uploaded my next video and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I've been reviewing a bag in my collection every two to three days. It just using them for about two to three days makes me fall in love with every single bag. And actually, um, Ann Doctor just talked about that, how to fall in love with your bag again. And I'll link her video below. But it's true, whenever you start using your bag more often, you start to fall in love with it again. This is the Chanel vanity case in the small size. This is in caviar leather. And if you remember, I adopted her from Fashion Junkie. So I am totally in love with this bag. I actually didn't want to film this video tonight because I wanted to keep using her. But I'm going to switch out of this one into another bag and then I'll upload that video sometime on Sunday. <clears throat> so that'll give me a couple days to use that next one. But this is totally one of another useful bag. This is a crossbody and I can literally use this and never worry about it. So finally I have a Chanel that's kind of carefree and easy to use. I have another Chanel bag coming up that I'm going to use maybe in a couple weeks. But right now I'm absolutely loving this little cutie bag. Um, it holds a lot. The top handle is really useful to hang on to. And the details are amazing. There's little tiny CCs on every part of this metal detail and it's an aged gold hardware. There's even CCs on these little rivets and the zippers seriously are so everything is done with intention and the zippers lay down flat. I don't have it right in the center. They can kind of move around totally easy to use. <clears throat> the back is quilted, the front is quilted, the, so the bottom has no feet and these are the key clochettes and this is the lock. Let me show you. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and Christmas is next week. It's so cool. Okay, here's the lock and this is the key. Let's see. Ba -ba. So you can actually use this lock to lock your bag. So that lock would go straight through that little hole right there and you lock it. This bag is intended to be worn crossbody, so they put the hook anchor of these on this side. So when this is on your body, it actually works perfect. I'm five foot six, so I'm gonna show you here. Look at that. So whenever it's crossbody, it is intended to be crossbody, so it lays so well against your body. It doesn't hang out, it doesn't flip, it's just so easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of what's in it to show you how much I can hold. This opens really easily and opens up like that. Each, the sides are gusseted so you don't have anything falling out super super easy to find everything in. I have my Chanel lip gloss, Chanel Eau coin purse, and that's in that section. It has a little tiny pocket in here if I wanted to put some tickets or something in there but I never use it. Then on this side which is the back side I put my Louis Vuitton six ring key clay with the full size car key right in there and notes, probably the same notes as last week, my rose quartz crystal that my friend Jen gave me when Bella passed away, our puppy, and card holder from Louis Vuitton, and a few checks. So all those three fit into the back section. And look at that. And when I had all of that in there, look, and look how well it wears. There's absolutely no marks. I mean, Fashion Junkie seriously sold me one of my most favorite bags. This is so beautiful and so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So remember I put the Chanel Eau Coin bag or Eau Coin purse right in the front and the lip gloss fits right on top. 
This six ring key clay goes at the back with the Vuitton card holder, checks, notes, and then rose quartz. Oh, I should have put the rose quartz at the bottom first. Let me put that at the bottom. Okay, so there you go. So I have to squeeze a little bit, but even when I do that, nothing bulges. Like, look at this. This is like the most cutest, amazing Chanel piece. I'm in love with this more than any of the classic flaps, just because it's just so unique and pretty. So yes, this is a beauty and very functional as well. I hope that you all stay tuned. Please subscribe. The next video, which one should I do it on? It's coming into Christmas. Hmm. Well, I will just think about it and it'll be a surprise for next video. Have a great weekend and you'll have a wonderful Christmas. Happy Hanukkah.